Pinellas County Schools is broadening students' horizons when it comes to life after graduation. This year, the district opened new college and career resource centers at their high schools. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd visited Clearwater High to learn more. Throughout the day, Clearwater High School students are entering the College and Career Center with questions and leaving with answers. So I came into this with an idea of where I wanted to go and they actually further helped me to cover most of my funds going into college and make it easier for my family paying for it throughout the four years. Caden Padgett knew he had the grades and talent to receive a football scholarship to Kenyon College. They didn't want to just tell me, like, congratulations, you know, this is going to be really easy, this is going to be a breeze. They, they wanted to make sure I knew what I needed to get done, but also didn't want to make sure it was a stress on me. Principal Keith Masteritis proudly handed out five Clearwater for Youth scholarships this week. He says the center's main goal is helping students get to that next level. One-stop shop, so I need assistance with the SAT, ACT. I need to find out how to um, uh, apply for the colleges. I need to find out what scholarships are available. How do I get financial aid? How do I get into a technical school? All those pieces are right here. Destiny Turner just received a full ride to Princeton. She thought she was all set until the center informed her there is even more financial aid still available. They've helped me find these extra scholarship opportunities to help you pay for stuff that you didn't um, realize you had to pay for at first. The center is always staffed throughout the day. Whether it's filling out applications or boosting your SAT scores, they are paving the way for the future one student at a time. Basically helping us get to whatever the next level is, whether that's uh, going out into the workforce or trade school, community college, or a big university. In Clearwater, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.